Hi everyone, it's Julia from Crosspatch. Um, today we're going to make some stitchery boxes. So this one I showed you the other day, if you look at my previous video, on the new stitchery patterns and I said I was going to make it into a little box or onto the lid of a box. So this one I've used pretty French general fabrics and I've used a candy bar which you can get on my website which is all assorted French general fabrics. There's enough in there you can do the outer of the box and you can piece the inside but I've just used some strips of fabric on mine rather than piece it with a candy bar. So that's one version and the other version is I've done this one this I did in my flower power threads Aurifil threads and I've used the Dutch heritage fabrics on the outside and on the inside I've got the big print on the inside okay so to make these you're going to need um, a candy bar will do the outside and the inside you're going to need two seven inch diameter circles of fabric for the base and two seven and a half inch diameter circles for the top you're going to need a strip of one and a half inches or two inches depending on how big you want your lip by 26 and a half inches to go around the edge of your lid um, and you're going to need the same in bosal. So I've used bosal for the lid, the base, the edge, and then a strip of bosal for the main part of your bag. The main part of your bag is 24 and a half inches by five inches. OK. And also, if you want to add some lace again, sort of about 28 inches. So you can uh, tuck the ends in on the join. So where's the join on it? There's the join on this one. You can fold the ends over. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about on the stitchery panels, uh, which I showed you the other day, here's this two round stitchery panels. These are new. OK. So take your bosal, cut your seven inch diameter round for your lid and cut seven and a half inch start again seven inch for the base seven and a half inch for the lid if you've got my thread bucket bag pattern which is what this is based on i've just added a lid to it that's the seven inch template you'll get for the base just draw around it add on a quarter inch seam allowance to get the size for your lid okay um so this is a thread bucket bag that hasn't got a lid because it's just a thread bucket bag it's got a handle so now we, all we're going to do is make this, but we're going to add a lid on it. OK, so to make your base and your lid, you need to fuse one side of the bosal's fusible. So fuse um, on the lid, fuse the neutral fabric to the top of that if you're going to add a stitchery on top. OK, um, if you can, if you want to make um, the lid a feature, you don't want to put a stitchery on it, then fuse your feature fabric to the top put right sides together and then I'm going to move the camera down so you can see what I'm doing on the sewing machine as to how I stitch it together so let's move you down right down to Mr Dukey okay so put your stitch a bit longer let's put it on three and what you're going to do you're not going to stitch on the foam you're just going to catch it as you go around so Let's put the needle down and just stitch around and just catch. My bobbin's running out, so it's squeaking, sorry. <laughs> just catch the edge of the foam as you go around. Right, let's cut that off. Oh, my foot is working, there we go cut the thread you'll keep going all the way around but you want to leave a gap of about that much for turning so when you've gone all the way around trim it to about quarter of an inch turn it right sides out and then top stitch it all round and you'll end up with this 
So on this one, if I'm going to put a stitchery on, that's going to be my top and I'm going to put the stitchery on top of that. So at this point, add your stitchery and I've buttonhole stitched mine in place around the edges, if you can see there. Okay. Next, you want to make your your the edge of your lid, which is this bit here. Okay, so this is your one and a half inches by 26 and a half inch bit of bosel. And I fused one side and then put two, two strips together and I've stitched all round exactly in the same way just catching the edge of the foam as I've gone and I've left a gap for turning so I've left a gap for turning here which is about that size okay so turn it right sides out and top stitch it and then if you're going to add lace add the lace now okay so that's ready so you've got the edge of your lid and you've got your lid ready and you'll have stitch your stitchery on top if you want the stitchery on top okay let's put them to one side now let's make the um, edge of our basket so we've got the bosel again 24 and a half inches by five inches and we've got our candy bar strips so i'm going to take one and i'm going to put it on the end there now I haven't got an iron on in here, so we're just going to pretend I've ironed that on because this is the fusible side. Then I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to put it on top of there, like that. And then I'm going to stitch it in place. So use a quarter of an inch seam allowance and you need your stitching to be on about three. And then sti just stitch across. So basically, you're just going to flip and stitch. So we're going to stitch this across. And then just flip that back. And just carry on until you've covered the whole piece of foam. So every time you stitch a piece on and flip it back, take it to the iron, fuse it in place, get the next bit, put it on top of that, flip it back and keep going, okay? Right, folks, I'm going to move you back up and I'm going to move the sewing machine out of the way. Okay, let's move the sewing machine to one side. So, here is your finished outer and I've just lined it with a matching piece of fabric. As I said before, you can stitch uh, 12 of your candy bar pieces together to make the lining. Just place right sides together with the front, turn it through and top stitch it all round. Okay. So you've now got, here's my base, here's my lid and here's the edge of my lid. To put the edge of your lid on, all you need to do is use some hand stitching and just whip stitch around the top like so just keep going around um, depending on your stitching and your cutting the overlap will vary but on that one that's going to overlap about an inch and just top stitch across there to hold it in place that will give you your lid so your finished lid is going to look like this I don't know if you can see, you can, if I hold it right up, you can see where I've whip stitched it around the top. On the base, you need to whip stitch the base to the bottom of this bit. So this bit, if you get your base and sit this on top of the base and work out where it needs to be joined, I tend to take this to the sewing machine and I will top stitch that across before whip stitching it to the bottom. So that's the bottom, there you go. Exactly the same way as you make the bucket bag, basically. And then you've got a finished lid to put on top. And it will look like that. 
okay so it's a really easy thing to do as i say um, the destructions are downloadable um, on my website um, but i'll write when i load this up to youtube i will put the dimensions of everything on there so you can just make it anyway um, it's great for using up your strips uh, and scraps of fabric if you've got a jelly roll cut your strips up into five inch by two and a half inch um, or raid your stash or if you like these french general fabrics you can buy my buried <laughs> candy bell packs are on the website there you go um right i'm off it's easter weekend um go and eat a load of chocolate um my youngest daughter's getting married tomorrow um so we're off to stroud tomorrow morning um and i'll be back next week doing some more demos so have a lovely weekend and see you soon okay bye